Good Saturday morning, my outdoor crew. How are you doing? It's hot. It's actually Sunday, the day after we came back from Daniel Boone National Forest yesterday. We want to go over the Titan. Had two issues that have occurred outside of the fact we got to run. It was a lot dirtier than what it is now. I think that's our main goal is when we go out somewhere. If it don't come back dirty, we didn't do anything, did we? Well, the wheels and tires are still pretty skunked up. Matter of fact, I ran to the store a little bit ago, and I think because there's so much dirt and stuff in the tires or the wheels that, well, I was getting a vibration. But if you look in there, I mean, they're pretty pretty caked with dust um, we ran through a little bit of a rainstorm leaving the place and so that's that's what happened there but you laid the back bumper all the dust that's on the back bumper now the one problem we had that occurred and I never thought about this and I know what I'm gonna do to solve it I think I think I know what I'm gonna do to solve this is look at the dust inside the bed it's it's bad it's bad um i'm gonna have to pull everything out Let's see if i pull this out you'll see how bad it got so i think when that came in it the tonneau is pretty well sealed so i don't think it came in on the sides i think it all came in from right in here so i think what i'm gonna do is put some kind of gasket or seal on this to kind of seal the tailgate up so it doesn't happen like that again that's the only thing we got was a crap ton of dust and I mean you can see it's all the way back there in the truck so it's not just I mean it had to have come from the tailgate itself um, because this is pretty sealed up and usually stays dry in here which mostly dust anyway so you can see all the dust on the tailgate and everything we ran through the rain and it kind of washed it off but looking on back yeah it's just towards this bed area back of the bed area where the main dust was there's a cooler that was sitting right there that's why that spot's like it is so i don't know i may uh attempt to seal the tailgate itself up a little more um to kind of stop that because future plans well i would be going through these same roads again and the same thing would happen so i don't know i'm looking at maybe some roll gasket along the bottom here and up the sides and that would seal the tailgate up to alleviate that issue um another issue that arose and i'll we'll get in the truck real quick and i'll show you Okay, so the other problem that arose, we were going down a trail, things weren't looking good. And we decided, because we hadn't, I mean, we just started on it, that we were going to back out. Um, now, it was a pretty decent grade to back out of. So, the first thing I did to the truck was I turned off um, what is VDC right here which is basically traction control on Nissan. So I turned that off because I wanted, if the tires spun, I didn't want to lose power because that's usually when things go wrong. But it was such a climb backwards up, if that makes sense. So I was back in the truck up a hill and it was such a climb that transmission temps went into the H. I mean, it nailed the H. Now, once I got back to level ground and got going straight again, they fell pretty quick. So the transmission cooled itself back off pretty, pretty rapidly. But that's the first time I've had that happen on this truck. The transmission got a little warm. Well, a little bit more than just a little. It was, it was hot. It got hot. Um... Is it a concern for down the road? Yes, possibly. Um, like I said, it cooled down really quick 
and I mean that, that it was a long steep hill to have to back 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 up but if we got down to the bottom and there was no place to turn around then we would have been even more screwed <laughs> I did a uh, what we called a 69 point turnaround in one spot and backed into the mountain it didn't say nothing it didn't i like it cared but no damage or anything on the truck just drug a little grass off but that was it um the one other thing i will say i'm going to do at some point is i'm going to get a stand or one of those arms for a tablet to sit on right here even if i have a co-pilot then he can turn it to himself and be navigating that way that way the iPad is just not laying around or whatever. But I will say this, the iPad is the way to go. Or Samsung tablet, if you're a Samsung person. But the tablet is the way to go when navigating with Gaia. Your phone works, but using a tablet per se for the whole thing is so much better. Especially, you know, old eyes like mine and his is so much better. Um than trying to use our phones also helped that i downloaded the maps for everything we did and so we never lost the map at all never had any glitches never had anything happen while we were there um so that worked out really good but overall the titan did great um it was four hours 39 miles and i think it was 1400 feet ascent 1400 feet descent at one point so we did some climbing we did some driving saw a lot of stuff and you will see that video tuesday no in two weeks excuse me you'll see that video in two weeks um but i just want to give you an update on how the truck did the truck did really good i think uh just had those two little issues and we'll solve them well move on but for 139,000 miles i can't say much more for her. i mean she did it and she's gonna do some more before it's over with so that's it for this one appreciate bill for tagging along and being a navigator and uh i appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with us see you on the next one be prepared <music>